markets. Uh, Adil Fazal, hey, market analyst at CFDs.com, bringing you a review of the European markets for the uh, trading day, Monday, 9th of uh, October 2017. Please be sure to visit Trade Signal, signals and market updates from leading providers of www.tradesignal.com. You can download the app on the Google Play and the Apple App Store. Okay, so let's look at the uh, market stats at present on a uh, Monday. Uh, we have the uh, US markets closed due to Columbus Day. Canada certainly is closed as well. Okay, we've had the Chinese markets certainly come back online. Uh, we do have the Nikkei and the South Korean markets closed as well. So certainly lackluster in terms of volume. We've had the um, Hang Seng down overnight, 0.46, although the Shanghai was up 0.76%. So certainly poised there. In terms of European markets at the moment, we currently have the FTSE down 18 on the back of expectations uh, with regards to Miss May continuing on, which obviously is uh, sterling positive. We're certainly seeing a bump in sterling, which in turn obviously is causing weakness in the FTSE 100. You can see here we've capped and, and, and certainly moved higher on uh, sterling this morning, uh, opening as low as 1.3075, and obviously we've rallied almost 100 pips. That's caused the Euro GBP actually to move as well. Now to keep an eye on Euro GBP because there is a relationship now that's being established with regards to Euro GBP and the FTSE 100. Whenever the Euro GBP falls, the FTSE falls and vice versa. So again, an interesting relationship certainly needs to be watched. I'll be doing some more analysis on that as well and looking at the correlations between the two. Okay, now in terms of um, the rest of the European markets, we have the uh, the French CAC more or less uh, basically flatlined, DAC flatlined as well. FTSE MIB certainly is higher. IBEX certainly is recovering, uh, although we do have a uh, situation tense with regards to the standoff uh, with reference to Catalonia. So just keep that in mind as well. Okay, so uh, in terms of uh, economic data out overnight, Chinese data certainly came in lower than expected. So again, that certainly is a risk off factor. We have North Korean concerns, also concerns with regards to Turkey as well. Uh, with regards to visas and immigration concerns, uh, both countries certainly uh, blocking one another, and therefore obviously that's raising emerging market concerns with the uh, the actual uh, Turkish index down almost three percent today, and also the the lira is down quite significantly as well. In terms of European uh, data, we have had the uh, German industrial production numbers coming in stronger than expected, so again helping the uh, German market there. Uh, investor confidence out of Europe certainly coming in stronger. We have had ECB, Mr. Mersh, if I can recollect, yes, certainly uh, sounding dovish in terms of inflation, indicating that inflation certainly is nowhere near uh, the uh, required or adequate or uh, desired level at present. So again, that certainly will help Europe to a large extent as well. So bear that in mind. Again, this morning, really, the news is that you have the uh, uh, sterling, certainly the strongest, uh, on the back of obviously Miss May maintaining uh, her stubborn uh, stance with regards to uh, remaining in power. Okay, so again, that certainly is asking uh, uh, being a uh, risk negative for the FTSE 100. Let's move on to the German DAX now. German DAX certainly building a base here at the moment as we speak. Okay, so you certainly have had tested the pivot low there. Uh, certainly holding support at the moment. German DAX has tested the highs as well at 12.995 and then obviously pushed lower down to 12.945. Uh, again, we'll just keep an eye on the German DAX here. Daily chart at the moment, it has broken out. Okay, but certainly no real, uh, obviously, uh, conviction at the moment. 60-minute chart certainly is holding resistance at 12.995 and certainly no appetite to push it above 13,000. So again, certainly take that into consideration as well when uh, certainly coming to the DAX, especially given the fact that you have an unfilled gap below 12.830 and 12.700, okay? In terms of the French CAC, let's bring up the French CAC again. Same type of... Uh, Pattern here, gapping higher, then eventually giving, letting go of the gains. Okay, so again, uh, the bears certainly dominating here, especially given the fact that we've had weaker Chinese data. We still have that unfilled gap uh, left open at 5405, and obviously resistance above at 5440. So bear that in mind. 60-minute chart at the moment, it certainly looks like it's carving out some form of H&S formation. So just keep an eye on that. You've had the left shoulder here. Obviously, we've put in a head now, and just keep an eye on this right shoulder. It's more of a bear, bear flag pattern. Okay, consolidating here, then obviously looking to flush lower. So certainly uh, erring on the side of uh, bearishness here. Again, I'll be certainly taking the advantage or opportunity there to short the French CAC if the uh, opportunity arises. In terms of the FTSE 100, it certainly seems like it's uh, uh, attempting a comeback here at the moment on the FTSE. Uh, we're waiting for Miss Theresa May. Her speech is around 3.30 p.m. British time. Let's see exactly what she has to say and how the market reacts, okay? For now, it seems like we've rejected the uh, resistance above at 7.525. We've pushed lower 
7515 now has become key resistance. Uh, we're looking to potentially test 7495 or potentially even go down to Gamfield at 7465. So that certainly is a possibility as well. And that's what I'm expecting, especially if the uh, the dollar index certainly pushes higher as well. So just bear that in mind, okay? Certainly looking for further weakness on the uh, the FTSE 100 here if sterling continues to move higher on the back of obviously Miss May uh, remaining in power. Bear in mind though, you do have this falling contracting wedge type pattern. You have resistance at 7515, 7525, and again you have support below at 7490, and then ultimate support is down at Gapfill at 7465. So certainly looking for that 7465 figure to be hit. Again, a lot of that depends on uh, on what uh, Miss May has to say. So keep an eye on Miss May's comments, okay? In terms of the uh, uh, rest of the markets, let's look, look at Euro stocks now. Uh, let's see exactly where the Euro stocks is. Daily chart at the moment, topping tail, resistance, doji. 60 minute chart certainly looks uh, exhausted as well. Okay, looking for weakness now on the uh, Euro stocks. 10 minute chart at the moment we pushed higher we rejected it came back back down again we're holding gap fill support let's see how that uh, unfolds okay let's see how that unfolds okay uh, again looking at the euro usd we are building a base here so one would argue that you are looking for a push higher on the euro usd but given the fact that we have had mr mersh with the negative comments bear that in mind as well certainly on the side of hawkishness or sorry dovishness if we do continue to push higher then again you are going to see risk aversion kick in in european equities Given the fact that we have light volume, it certainly is very hard to justify uh, an unmasked sell-off today, especially with US markets off as well. Okay, that's the status quo at present then with regards to the markets. Again, watch out for Theresa May's speech around 3.30. That will be very volatile for the FTSE. Be interested to see how the FTSE uh, uh, unravels there, whether it pushes back up to 7.525 or if we go down to 7.465 gap fill. Okay, I think that really is a summation of uh, European markets. Then please be sure to visit Trade Signaler. Uh, signals and market updates from obviously leading providers and certainly take advantage of your bonus at cfds.com.